We are checking out The Invincible. This is another game part of the Steam Next Fest uh, event that's currently going on. This game is supposedly you play as a scientist and it has a very sci-fi slash uh, robotic vibe, almost steampunk in a way because there's a lot of robots you run into, I guess. Uh, don't really know much about it other than it's been a very highly downloaded demo. So with that said, we're just going to hit new game and go straight into it and uh, find out for ourselves, I guess. Please wait. Welcome to the Invincible Demo. The fragment of this uh, you'll play is not the beginning, but it takes place later in the game. <clears throat> the main protagonists have already been through quite a lot. However, we don't want to spoil your experience of the entire game by explaining too much. On the next page will be provided just a brief introduction of the scene that is taking place. Please keep in mind two things. Uh, first, getting to know this fragment of gameplay may still affect your reception of the earlier parts of the game. Avoidable spoilers alert. Second, remember that the current state of the game is not a final product. We're still working very hard to perform its perform improve its quality and performance. And now, press to continue. Gazna has been found uh, has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she desperately needs to find other people, even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses the excavation area and heads towards the ravine. Following the convoy, she's getting closer, so needs to prepare for beating the Alliance by conferring with her Astrogator. He's the commander of their unit. From early in the game, he has supported Yasna action from abroad, a spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place. Regis 3. Whoa. Plan your route to the convoy. Okay. Uh, convoy's the target. Ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No. No, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? Uh, side path? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy. Or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Oh. Could be an unnecessary detour. I'll leave that to your judgment, though. Space hold, I'll take the path leaving the convoy. Little precaution can't hurt. All right. I'll try to get there via the side path. Go to the destination uh, of the convoy dispatch from the base. So, the side path. Whoa. This is very first person. Okay. Use. How do I see the map again? I think the side path was like right here. Or I thought it was. Sensitivity is very high. <laughs> How do I. Hold on, let's open up the map again. And let me check this too. Disabled, all right, good. Field of view, that's fine. Motion blur, good. Map tab. Oh, maybe I can't be in the car. Top out. Let's check one more time. So it says that the side path It's right up the hill here. What the heck? What's happening with my mouse? Oh, okay, there it goes. All right, back in. Yeah, so definitely a, a big change from the last game. <laughs> Warhaven's pretty cool though. I wanted to check that out for a while now. Then I saw the uh, demo pop up. Okay, maybe we have to walk it if we take the side path. 
Yeah, it doesn't seem to let me go up there. All right, we're walking. She like gets out of breath and everything starts turning white. It's kind of cool. If you look to the ground, you can see the bottom of your helmet. If you look all the way up, you can see the top of your helmet. I'm through here. Base radiation level has increased. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful. The radiation. Of other people. Just watch yourself. Seeing people who are alive and mentally sound is something I'm always counting on, Astrogator. They may be my only child. I found a way to the convoy. What might interest you, sir, is Wait. it appears to be a mechanically drilled tunnel. Circular, precise. I'm more curious about what's on the other end. Let's find out. I thought we were going to slide through it for a second. God, there's a hole. Oh, now we're sliding. Oh, God, what is that? Yes, I am. Oh, shit. They're close. At least one. There's not a soul. I don't see anyone. Wait, there's something right here. Oh, there's a corpse. Oh, no. Oh. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. Yes. Journal updated. I had a feeling it might end like this. I wasn't expecting to find this. <clears throat> I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. This reminds Finding me a lot of uh, Firewatch, but in space. Place. Not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, it's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. It looks like half of his upper body is missing. <sighs> Found the antimat. It looks damaged, but its log may still be intact. Copy that. Proceed. Proceed. Check the antimats registry. Okay, okay. I'm getting into the antimats recorder. Turn that, press this button. Grab yeah, these. Yeah. They were preparing for departure. Whoa. The convoy is heading somewhere. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. Oh. They're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. Oh, so were they the ones that created the tunnel? Can you locate the breach? Find the hole shot by the antimatter? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Huh. Shame. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it... something's going on. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened? There's nothing else. Only... Darkness. Can't you see what it was aiming? Panic. Everyone's trying to escape. This is kind of crazy. Antimat. That's what destroyed What kind of game is this? People it seems like it's a, uh... They don't know what to do. 
almost like a walking simulator slash mystery detection style. It's firing directly at the oh crew. god. Uh, it looks like that's how the crew died. Shooting them. One by one. Jeez. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis Street doesn't spare you. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. Damn. One of them's raising his hands. He's surrendering. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. Oh God, what's gonna happen in the next one? <laughs> Damn. It killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh fuck. Yes, not. Yes, not. Uh oh. The last photo is from a few moments ago. Uh oh. On it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Uh. Let's hope not. Oh God. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. Oh, that's all. What about that tunnel? Oh, right. The tunnel and. So. I'll go what check about it this out. one. I know you will, yes. Proceed. Wait. So the guy that would have got blown to pieces would have been like over here. All right, I guess we're going into the. Oh, never mind. They're right here. Journal updated. Into the tunnel I go. I can hear a rhythmic metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Something still attacked. Take your time, yes, ma'am. Here. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan coming at me. Huh. What the heck? She's hallucinating. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ugh. I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Huh. There's nothing here I haven't metal seen. Metal bushes. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. Box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. Search the location. There's a side location down here. Oh no. Focus, zoom. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. 
roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. <sighs> yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them yet? Body. Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal. Then I'll use Break. a detector. Right. Examine the bushes with the detector. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around, and the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. So the structures I saw following Gorski? Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... What is right there? ...grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule us out. Can't you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. Oh, God. <sighs> Shit. I can't handle it anymore. Back over here. Oh. Wait, it, it, it got out of its path. Follow the arc ten. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. No, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. First of all. Get out of there now. Huh, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Get back here, robot. Oh my god, she's running. <laughs> Where's he go? What the heck? How do you get that far? Uh oh. Fuck, it's getting up. The robot? No, no, the anti-mat. You need to act fast. Oh, oh God. God. No. Yes, sir. Uh, you are right. Yes. Destroyed the robot. What are you doing now? Oh, no. Totally not looking at me. You always have been. What are you saying, Doctor? You've always been a great support for the entire crew. No. Don't die on me now. I'm begging you. Don't give up. You can't. You can't. I failed you. I'm sorry. So fucking sorry. It's all my fault. Wait, it stopped. I brought us here. Goddamn planet. What? Yes, ma'am. Your life. If you could reject it, why didn't you? After a series of successful missions, are you safe now? Safe enough. 
Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. Whoa. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. This After really all, seems like it's the same people as uh, like that. Firewatch, uh, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I, I can't just fly Campo away. Santo, it's not. Now more than ever. Huh. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. Check out the rest of the convoy. What about this? There's literally a spot right there. So why did it stop shooting me? For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? I think so. Actually, it's right in front of me. Oh, man. Listen to the radio recordings. Oh. What's up, man? <laughs> Jeez. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the... Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Test luck here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor. These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic uh, There's a lot of field. movement. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical huh. flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another trans... Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Jeez. Amazing. Microbots 
grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Okay. Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language, their past, our voyages together, Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Find the containers with the files. Or the flies. I don't know what's in here, but the door to the cargo the... bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. What the heck? Oh god. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now. I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Wait, you what? Ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can what fly... What is that? They behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards the force field, oh god, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. Mortuus evolutionis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, 
and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. The you got second the transporter. transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Oh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. How do we get there? The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Only. This game's pretty cool so far. A lot of uh, talking back yeah. and forth between then you are looking at the top of the Energobot. Novik and uh, the character. Ah, got it. Yasna. Okay, so we need to find a way around there then. There's an opening. And now the question is where? Is it VR compatible? I'm not sure, actually. Uh, I think right now it might just be... Well, this is a demo first. Um, but it seems like... It, it feels like it could be a good version for being VR. Okay, we're going this way. It reminds me so much of Firewatch, which I, I wonder if that's what they were going for here. What's up, bro? Yo, what's up, RG? How's it going? I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. We just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. Oh, let's take it pictures. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Probe? Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? Get back here. I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. Got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers, the powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible. Okay. Oh wait, this is Ant K. Just as I thought, the equipment's still active, but everyone here's dead. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. The field is no longer a problem. Take the transporter away. Uh, is that this thing? Oh, yeah. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave them, please check that the cargo is intact. It looks good. like it's good. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. 
So what? Off we go. Uh. Yes, sir. What are you wondering about? Maybe I'll leave the flies behind. What if we're making a mistake? Maybe I shouldn't take the flies off Regis. Maybe it's better to leave them alone. Here, where they belong. What are you? I just worry that we might spread this threat. And the tragedy of one planet becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention all humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit overdramatic. We can handle some mechanical flies. Humanity survived worse. Uh, maybe you're right. Huh. Well, maybe you're right, sir. I tend to assume the worst case scenario, but not without reason, may I add. Anyway, before I go on my merry way, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just. Oh, hurry God. Up. We have to see them up close. Which one? Like one of these? Oh no. This does not seem like a safe idea. Wait, it's empty. Wow. What the heck? I must admit, they look amazing. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them, nothing more. What? Uh-oh. A black hole just opened up? What do you mean? I didn't do anything. All I did was open it. Just look at them. It was like two seconds. If you were wondering, Simon, how large a group of these flies could be, I can tell you. Yes, yes, I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. What the? The Invincible. Okay, well, uh, yeah. So it looks stressful, but that was cool. So that was The Invincible. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out on this game. If that's a few hours, because... It's a few hours into the game, so I'm assuming starting out you're you're probably like a lot slower, um, slower paced, understanding like more of the world. But I'll definitely keep an eye out. That was pretty cool.